Hey guys! So I am currently a crew member on board Rhapsody of the Seas with Royal Caribbean and this is my cabin! If you are new here, my name is Allie. I started my contract back in April of 2022, but I recently just switched cabins and now I am here. So today I'm going to be showing you guys around. Just a quick disclaimer, every crew cabin is very different depending on what ship you're on and also what position you have. So when I was hired to come on the ship, my position was a review cast dancer. However, I now have the position of dance captain. So dance captain is more of an officer position. This is considered an officer room, which means that I get my own room and I do not have a roommate, whereas before I did. Either way, I'm very happy to be here and share my space with you guys. Before we get started, don't forget to subscribe. Let's go. So first things first is my bed. Obviously this is where I sleep at night. It is a full size mattress and it's pretty comfy. It came with this white comforter, which is pretty cozy. And it also came with four pillows and I like extra pillows. So I brought my own. I made sure to bring my silk pillowcase just cause it's good for your hair and your skin, all that fun stuff. This is my bed. This is my space. Yeah. Also, very quickly, I'm going to address this lovely situation behind me. This has been the dance captain cabin for a long time, and somewhere along the years, someone decided that they were going to make a mirror wall, which makes the space look really big and homey, which is really nice. I don't know if it was the same person, but they also added wallpaper. Definitely a plus. <laughs> so moving right along, welcome to the corner of the room where we have two chairs, a phone, and a fake plant. When I first got here, I didn't really understand why there were two chairs here at all, but this is the biggest space for the cast, so if everybody wanted to gather here, it could be nice to just have more places to sit. Also here is the phone. This is where I make my phone calls. I actually do have a pager, so if anybody needs to reach me, they they can page me using this and then if I'm on somewhere around the ship then I can use any random phone or if I'm here I can just call them with this friend. This phone is pretty old. If, if someone were to leave me a message I would have no idea how to check it. Yeah, we don't use it for that purpose. And then I did bring this plant with me. I did buy this plant when we were in Cyprus. That was one of the very first places that we went and I just thought it would make it a little bit more homey. You also cannot bring real plants on the ship, so this is what we're working with. So this is my actual desk space. Anytime I'm doing any sort of desk work where I need to write something or do something on my computer or do my makeup, anything like that, I'll sit here or I will drag the chair over like so. Yes. Sometimes I cannot be bothered and I'll just sit here and make it work. I did buy this mirror. It has come in handy, especially when it's time to do makeup. We do do our makeup quite a bit because of the shows. So next up is the cubbies. This is a lot of dance captain related material. I actually do have another binder somewhere. Here's a stack of papers that I need to have immediate access to. This area is mainly just a lot of files and binders and papers. And up here, I actually brought this bin from home and it has been very helpful to just like help sorting things. This is just kind of miscellaneous cleaning things and extra masks. Right now we still have to wear KN95s, so I have an extra stash in here. Laundry detergent, Tupperware, miscellaneous goods, but this was an objective to keep it looking more organized and I think it, I think it looks nice. And then here is my food cubby. This is pretty much just a million and a half granola bars and granola and protein powder. Yesterday we were in Syracuse, Sicily, and this was the biggest market I could find. This, these were the granola bars that they had to offer. I've already had two of these since yesterday. I got some peanut butter, some more granola, and then some protein powder. I brought protein powder from home because I had a friend that really recommended this brand and so far it's really good. I really liked the banana french toast flavor. This one is the peanut butter and jelly and it's good but I do like putting the banana french toast protein powder in my oatmeal. And then up here this is where I keep my makeup. So this has my brushes, this has just makeup pretty much everywhere. But yeah, this is what I keep on the top shelf. Here are my storage drawers that are right by my desk. This top one, it's kind of like miscellaneous office supplies, like pens and notebooks and command hooks. 
um, as well as hair supplies, so scrunchies, hair clips, more hair clips, hair pins, hair berets, hair ties. Yeah, that's the majority of that drawer. And then in this one, this one is a lot of vitamins and supplements. I have vitamin D12, I have digestive drops, immunity drops, throat lozenges, muscle cream. This one is all my miscellaneous extra supplies. So whenever I run out of sunscreen or foundation, these are the extra pairs that I have. I brought a lot of extras just because I didn't know how accessible some of these things would be or if there is a situation where we don't get shore leave then I don't want to be stuck and not have any options. Also I'm very particular about my products so... And then under here we have a little secret stash. Nice. So here we have a garbage bin. Um, I do keep some of my extra pairs of shoes over here. I also have some a case of water under here that I've been saving or I try to only use if I really can't get like the filtered water. Over here there is also a mini fridge. Actually it is pretty cool in here. I don't currently have anything in it but as soon as I get something that requires refrigeration I'm sure it will be good to go. So next we have my closet. So on the top row we have some extra space for shoes. I have some heels and some booties up here. This row is for my tops. This pile is for more casual things that I probably can't wear on the ship. This one is nicer things that I can wear on the ship. And this is my uniform. This section down here is also separated into piles based on bottoms. Um, these are like jean shorts and jean skirts. These are jeans um, and pants that are just like a little bit nicer that I can also wear around the ship. Jeans are a no-go on the ship. And then down here, this is like my leisurely area. It's a lot of like comfy sweatpants. Off to the other side, most of this is either like nice clothing or some sort of jacket. Yeah, that's that. And then I also have a hamper down here. It is currently broken, so we try not to play with it too much. So next up we have our drawers. So in the top drawer, it is jam-packed with athletic clothes. Because I'm a dancer and we do a lot of rehearsals and part of our job is literally going to the gym and staying active, I have a lot of athletic clothes. This is all tops. 11 sports bras that are currently clean. There's also some in the hamper as well. And then there's a bunch of bottoms too, shorts and leggings. And then in this drawer, it is my socks and my bathing suits. Um, I feel like I'm already running out of socks, like I didn't pack enough. And, and then here's like my underwear, but we don't really need to show you that. And then up here we also have our life jackets. So I actually just had my life jacket inspected today and it, it passed. In case of an emergency, I bring it up with me and get ready to evacuate. So one of the extra duties that we have on this ship as a performer is that we help with Muster 2.0, which is basically to help familiarize the guests with the safety information. So if they have not done the safety briefing on the app before they come to check in with us, I have to do a little demonstration with my life jacket, which I can show you guys now. Hey guys, so in the unlikely chance of an emergency, you will hear the emergency signal, which is seven short blasts followed by one long one. If you hear the emergency signal and you're in your cabin, make sure to bring your life jacket up with you. If you're somewhere else on the ship, then you can come straight here and we'll provide one for you. If we are in the situation where we have to put on a life jacket, this is how you're going to put it on. So first you open it up, you put your head straight on through, you're going to clip it in the front, make sure to velcro too. Take the extra strap, tie it around your waist, clip it in, make sure it is nice and tight and take any remaining fabric and tuck it in behind you. Now you are looking great, you are safe and your outfit is completed with a water activated light and a whistle. Yeah, so that's that. Um, now we're gonna go to the bathroom. 
So something I absolutely love about my bathroom is that I put a shoe rack on the inside of the door. I did bring it from home, but it is an absolute game changer. Some shoes here, obviously, but it is also a great place to just organize everything. I have hairspray, sunscreen, more hairspray, heat protectant, face wash, all the good things. And quite frankly, there is not enough space in the bathroom or really anywhere to actually like create enough storage space. So I found this to be a great alternative. All right, so here is the bathroom. So this bathroom is very similar to all the other cabins, even when it's shared. So when my old roommate and I had this kind of situation, one side was hers and one side was mine. So this is what I keep in mind. Pretty much all of this is face products, except for toothpaste, deodorant, and then this is makeup remover. Oh, and I'm currently charging my toothbrush right now, and there is a little plug that's right up there so in this one I have my collection of fake eyelashes dry shampoo um, some hair oil some deep some deep cleaning brush shampoo and then a couple more face things and random things that didn't fit on the side so this is the shower she is tiny but mighty Here's the curtain, and then I keep my razor and my shampoo and conditioner over here. I use like solid bar shampoo and conditioner, so that kind of sits in this region. But I also have coconut shower gel from 100% Pure, <laughs> so good. And of course we have a toilet too. All the bathrooms come with a toilet sponge. I also wanted to share that I keep some extra things underneath my bed. So I make my suitcases open face and then I like using these as storage if I need any extra space. And last but certainly not least, we have the porthole. So most cabins actually do not have a porthole, it's just wall, 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 wall. So I feel very lucky to have like the natural light in this room, it definitely makes it a lot more homey. Plus. It allows me to get some LTE when I'm in port. The view is great. Um, the only thing is on really rocky nights, it makes me feel actually ill to look outside. Other than that, it's really incredible. I feel so lucky. All right, guys, that just about concludes my room tour. Thank you guys so much for watching. I feel so fortunate to have this space and it was so nice sharing it with you guys. Make sure to stay tuned for more content. Leave a comment or a question if you have any and don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.